I don't need this. I haven't even played football yet. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, what's what's it been like going for? The, the extra week of the end. You haven't even got to that yet. Mm-hmm. Um, it, seems, it seems like, you know, a season ago you were playing the count. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Um, the biggest part of it is uh, trying to stay in the middle of focus because, you know, um, yeah, I started getting tired of the day in and out of the repetition, so, but, um, you know, now that camp's over, we're trying to save our legs and kind of tune us into game week and stuff like that, but the hardest part, um, last week was staying really sharp, but now that we're starting to move in to look at our opponents now, it's starting to, we're starting to really enjoy it. Get a little, get a little uh, something going, because, I mean, it, you get to the point where you know what that guy across from you is going to do every day. Right. I mean, I mean, and he knows, he knows all your blocking techniques. Right. You know, everything, I mean, everything else, I mean, it's, a, it's crazy, I mean. Yeah. Um, did Virginia Tech have any special meaning to you other than first game? Uh, right now we're just looking for first game. Uh, we haven't, I mean, we haven't even started digging into him yet, so I, I can't really say anything about Virginia Tech right now. Reese, <laughs> hey, um, leadership in terms of guys above you. Um, Al Rashid looks like a guy that's a leader of this defense. Is he accurate? Uh, definitely doesn't look like it doesn't just look like it. He uh, definitely is it. He's everything that he looks like. So, what's he do? And, and is that important for defense or just a football team in general? Oh, absolutely. He leads by example uh, on and off the classroom or yeah, on and off the field and out of the classroom uh, around the facilities. Uh, so and then he's also a verbal. He's a vocal leader. So uh, you know when we need the motivation, when we need to talk, and we need to be honest with ourselves. Like he's always there. The other day the coaches we had our team meeting. We came in and uh, the coaches got up and left. Al stood up, and, and uh, Will stood up, and after that, they, they talked to us, and the coaches didn't even have a say. Like, after that, we just break up your meetings. So um, I think that uh, it plays a big role, not just on defense and uh, not just on the field, but all aspects of the game. You have to be a good player and an experienced player to be that kind of leader. I mean, if you were a, a freshman who didn't play, would he have the same respect? Yeah, I think you need to uh, walk the walk before you talk the talk, that's for sure. Um, you gain respect by your actions, not by what you say. So I think that... Uh, yeah, he backs it up, so he's got the right to say it. You know, he's got the right to tell you what you need to do, and as long as he even, and that doesn't mean that he can be loafing or slacking one day. That doesn't mean he can still talk then every day. You got to bring it, you know? and so uh, he knows that if um, he's slacking or he's not doing what he's supposed to do, I'm going to say something to him. Kaiser's going to say something to him. Drayvon's going to say something to him, and uh, you know, it's just you have to bring it every single day to be that leader to be able to be on top of something.